So the Texans find themselves in a bit of a pickle on the interior offensive lines. What do they do? They go out and trade for a dude. They pick another guy up on waivers, and that's the guy I want to talk about. Nick Broker, seventh-round pick out of Buffalo this year. And you might wonder, hey, the Bills don't have an awesome offensive line. How does picking up one of their ejected offensive line to make any sense that's where it gets interesting for one he was sought after as field yates reports the only other player with more than two waiver claims was texans guard nick broker claimed by the cardinals the titans and the giants and that's where it gets a little bit interesting and dicey in the eyes of some bills fans because the bills may have really been trying to protect nick broker by not giving him a single offensive snap in the preseason finale to no avail, yoinked by your beloved Houston Texans. Now, like I said, Bills fans, at least some of them, not happy about this, with a couple of articles saying that the Bills were taking heat after losing Nick Broker on waivers. And if there's one thing that I know, it's that online outrage is always accurate. So we'll take a look at some plays of Nick Broker. What I know of him so far is not an incredible athlete. He was incredibly durable in college, started out playing tackle, then moved to guard when he realized that's probably where his future in the NFL was. He was a Walter Camp All-American second team. He looks like a pleasant young teenager. That's him on the right. Just look at, look at that kid. And he apparently loves his mother and or his aunt, or at least an Ole Miss fan that's a little bit older than him. Getting a very wholesome feel about Nick Broker. My God, why is he holding a baseball bat? And what does he intend to do with it? If you come to his house to sell encyclopedias, you better watch out. This kid means business, but he can also pose as a silent movie star masquerading as a combine participant. As an adult, he looks more like a leaned out Ed Sheeran. So we're going to take a few looks at some film. I got to tell you, NFL Plus has disappointed me yet again. The only film available was week one versus the Colts, which is fine, but he played more snaps and got a better PFF grade for whatever that's worth in the second preseason game against the Steelers. So we'll watch some of these snaps against the Bills. Remember, he didn't play in the third preseason game because... Allegedly, the Bills were trying to keep him a secret. There are no secrets from the Houston Texans, damn it. Now, I'm going to save the most concerning snap until the very end because I don't want to poison your mind right off the bat, especially because there were some really nice snaps. This is him at left guard, number 67, snatching a guy early, showing a lot of strength. I liked that. Here he is, again, number 67, left guard on a run play. Wheeling, not a high level of difficulty there. Here he is at left guard again, going against a defensive tackle who is just stoned. The kid's got strong hands, good, solid base, strong legs. Catches himself. I love when guys are able to hop catch themselves a little bit. Kid looks really... Oh, nice. That's embarrassing. Embarrassing for the defensive lineman. This guy that he's been playing has been giving him his hands and just going straight into a bull rush every time. And Broker does a nice job handling him, snatching him there. Again, embarrassing for the defensive lineman. It's happened to me. I'm no virgin. This play, he's going to work up to the linebacker, working with that left tackle. Loops those hands. You're allowed to do that as long as you keep your legs moving, which he does. The kid looks like he's worked at his technique. Again, he's not an incredible athlete, but he's strong, plays with good pad level. And watch this. He's not afraid to push a mofo over the pile. I like that as long as I'm not the one getting pushed over the pile. There he is, left guard, working with the center up to the second level. Nice job there. Oh, this is the one. All right. Now, he, he shows a little bit of nasty here. And there's a lot to like about that. I mean, sometimes that's overrated. But this, this is a kid that seems pretty genuinely scrappy from college on up through the NFL. Okay, a word before this next snap. As far as I could tell, this was the first snap he'd taken in the NFL, and it does not go well for him. All that scrappiness that you saw after this play, I think, makes up for some of what you're about to see. I just didn't want you to judge him based on this one play. If this was your first impression you wouldn't feel that good about it. Just know, four teams put waiver claims on him. Four! This defensive tackle he's facing did make the Colts squad, so he's a bona fide defensive lineman, where the guy that he was handling before did not, for whatever that's worth. And, I mean, he 
he just loses his feet here and just gets destroyed. I don't want CJ Stroud having to deal with this. I mean, he's he's got one guy in his lap and one guy hitting him on the ribs. He had a good snap going for a minute. Got that left hand punch, got his right hand in there. And I wonder, wonder if he caught his right heel there on the turf or on the running back. If it was on the turf, I don't forgive him. If it was on the running back, I forgive him a little bit. He's going to have to show up for the Texans and perform, and then I'll forgive him after that. I will say, from just watching a few different videos of him, he gives me a little bit of a Ben Jones vibe. Just a good, wholesome country kid that likes to play football and loves his mama. I don't know. They put off a good vibe on these social media videos, including the next one, Ole Miss, where Lane Kiffin just lets them mic up everybody all the time. Uh, mic them up for a practice. Uh, this is where you're going to like this kid. Smack attack. Let's have a Tuesday, baby. Nobody's mic'd up. Nobody's not. So he starts off lying about being mic'd up. I like this already. Hey, oh, who's mic'd up? Nobody's mic'd up. Nobody's mic'd up. Are you actually mic'd up? Mostly because his buddies can all tell that he's lying. So I don't, I don't think he's trying to entrap anybody or anything. No, nobody's mic'd up. If he was trying to entrap them, I would say it shows ambition. I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. No. You see this kid? He can't lie. He's not lying to his girlfriend. He's not lying to his mother. I'm walking here. I see a huge bump in your back. I'm like, yeah, dude, my pads are on. And he was like, hey, you're mic'd up. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> He's got a little bit of a doughy Eli Manning vibe to him. I don't know if it's the Ole Miss uniform or what. Have a great Tuesday. We got board We're going to be in the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure. He might. He's old enough. Is he old enough to... You're the... I don't want to disparage anybody. I'm just saying that Eli was at Ole Miss about 20 years ago, was he not? We have board drill. Board drill. Yeah. You're the reason we have board drill. I mean, that that's the nail in the coffin, jerk. Okay, he's saying you're the reason we have board drill. I think they're going to show the board drill later. Offensive linemen seem to hate that drill. That's ridiculous. Let's go. Big Tuesday. Come on. Let's go. Hey, Rebel. Oh, Sid Jackson, Ray. 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 Sid Jackson, Ray. Ray. Exercise. Ray. S. Ray. S. B. I don't know if he was breaking the huddle down just because he was mic'd up, but if he was breaking the huddle down as a sophomore, that's impressive. So I don't know if this is like, this, they run under these little cages. I, I'll be honest with you. I used to look over the offensive linemen and I couldn't figure out why they were doing any of the things they did. These kids are yoked up though. On natural testosterone and store-bought creatine. One-on-one -on -one drills are bogus. One-on-one -on -one run drills. See, now watch what happens. This is what happens. Everybody, somebody tilts their shoulders a little bit, and, like, and, and it turns into nothing. Okay, so, like, okay, where are you driving now? Okay, who's driving where? What are you trying to do to somebody? All right. Oh, no, you'll keep driving. Be sure you keep driving them back towards your own end zone. Stupid. Yes. Yeah, I am. We got my notebook out and everything. Yeah. Oh. Another important drill. Hey, I want to house that. Well, I'll be like Derrick Henry back there, huh? Hi, <laughs> Royce. Hey, Look at the mullet on the kid on the left. Royce, we're partners. Oh my gosh, where's Royce? That was fun. We should do that more often. Oh my John Rice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's terrible. <laughs> if he sees the camera out, he can like just smell it. <laughs> you want to say you want, anything you want to say to the people? Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is 2020, so <laughs> <laughs> the most absurd of all football COVID rules. Honestly, like let's let's remember there were some things that were just because nobody knew exactly what was going on. There were some things that were just weird, like nobody wearing a mask except for the staffers who were wearing masks while working around all the guys that weren't wearing masks. My boy Nick out here serving those. That's not any kind of a statement on COVID this or COVID that. It just we it was a big scramble to try to get shit done. We all remember this now. The pancakes, extra syrup on top. Oh, Tell me how you deal with the boys. I'm already saving the mask. Oh. 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 What a day. Good Tuesday. Oh, look at that. Looks like uh, looks like they want me to watch The Swamp next. I'm uh, somewhat encouraged that Nick Broker might have something to him. I think that he's 
not a blisteringly awesome uh, athlete or anything like that. And guards don't need to be. Looks like he's worked at his technique and it looks like he's got some scrappiness and nastiness to him. He's just got to keep his foot from getting tangled up with Damian Pierce because uh, then the whole world will hate him and his world will be shit. So welcome, Nick Broker, except for the world being shit part. <laughs>